Soon as the majority side, we supported an increment of 24 billion to 415 billion is to ensure there is equitable and equality in terms of development across the country. Mr. Speaker, it is a shaming. It is unfortunate that members of National Assembly, without running a fall of standing order 101, yesterday misled the country by saying we were removing CDF, Sijui Kera money. How, Mr. Speaker, and I'm wondering how can they mislead the whole country? In fact, he asked Mr. Speaker, asking for 415 billion, Mr. Speaker. He's being modest. He's being modest considering the, the budget of the country is 4 trillion. Mr. Speaker, in fact, the National Assembly must blame himself because the latest audited account, Mr. Speaker, is them who have taken behind. It will become a hard, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to ask. In fact, I am donating myself for free to be part of mediation so that I can fix them, Mr. Speaker, at the floor of the House, Mr. Speaker. Because as Bob Marley said before he died at 36 years old, Mr. Speaker, in 1981, more fire, Mr. Speaker. He said it is, there is much too honest in terms of running a society, Mr. Speaker. I want to challenge, and I know the National Assembly, Mr. Speaker, let us allow counties have for 15 billion. Let us develop our counties, Mr. Speaker, even if they are corruption. Let us fight corruption, but give money to counties for development, Mr. Speaker. Senator Kajuang. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the nation must know that revenue is divided in parliament. It is not divided at IBEC. It is not divided in Karen. It is not divided in private residences. And Mr. Speaker, I am very proud of this Senate and more so the chair of the Finance Committee and the members of the Finance Committee for standing up for county governments and for reasserting the role of Senate as a house that divides and allocates revenue. Mr. Speaker, when we set up that uh, mediation committee, I hope we will put in men and women senators with spine because in the 11th parliament, we had mediation every year. In the 12th parliament, we had mediation three out of five years. Mr. Senator Speaker. Senator Kajuan, are you implying that we have senators without spine? Yes. <laughs> proceed, proceed. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Speaker, we have a lot of senators with spine, not all of them. But Mr. Speaker, I hope that the mediation committee will stand firm for the Senate and they will not be intimidated by political party and partisan politics. This is about county governments, this is not about Kenya Kwanza, this is not about Azimio, and we hope that the way we stood up when you are coming up with a formula for revenue allocation, that this Senate will stand up to be counted where the Council of Governors failed at IBEC, where the National, the, the, count, the National Assembly is failing county governments, that the Senate will be the house that lives up to defend and protect the interests of counties and their governments. And to the members of the National Assembly, when this money goes to counties, really, this money goes to constituencies. What we have seen of CDF, of course, there are some things on the ground we have seen, but we have also seen the cars in the parking lot coming from CDF. Let us be honest. You cannot be pointing fingers at governors and also not looking at what the, the, the road and the problems that we have seen in allocation and distribution of the resources that should go to CDF. Mr. Speaker, the Supreme Court said that this House must be involved in decisions to do with the NGCDF, with the NGAF. And Mr. Speaker, we look forward to the day that that legislative proposal will be brought before the Senate because the Senate will do the right thing and make sure that we respect the two levels of government in this country, national and county governments. Those are the two levels of government in the Constitution. Those other creatures were of the past Constitution. Mr. Speaker, the Senate is going to do the right thing. And the men and women in that mediation committee, please do not do what they did with Linturi. Shame on them. Shame. Senator Methu.